Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, and today I'm going to go over my kids' Easter baskets. So this is going to be what me and my husband got for my kids and what my mom and dad sent over for my kids. Um, we only give them gifts on Christmas, birthdays, and Easter. Right now I just have them in these little baskets, but I might need to get something a little bigger because it's kind of overflowing. It doesn't look very pretty, so I might redo it. Um, I'll probably put that as a thumbnail picture, the redone version of this. But for now, I just had this little unicorn basket for her. Um, but as you see, not everything is really fitting in there. I have some bigger items. So the reason I'm doing this video is obviously not to brag about the things that I, I get for my kids or the things we're gifted for our kids. We're blessed to have these for, things for our kids, but I enjoy watching these videos as well. I like getting ideas. I've gotten ideas from other mom bloggers for like gifts and Christmas stuff. And so I really enjoy watching these videos as well. So that's why I decided to film. We'll link everything below. Mostly all these things are from Amazon or they can be found on Amazon. So I'll go over my daughter's basket first. She is three and a half years old, almost four. And my son is 17 months old. He'll be 18 months by Easter. So for my daughter, I got her a pair of binoculars. We have a bird feeder. So we have a lot of backyard birds. This is a great way for her to observe birds in our backyard and also on our walks, our nature walks, she can look and try to find birds. She'll really have fun with that. Then I just got her some fine motor tools for our practical life work and activities. Um, I like to include things they can use as well. So I got her a pair of sandals. She had a pair of these last year and they held up really well and we like them because they can be used in the water. They're really comfortable for everyday wear. So this is what my kids wear in the summer. And then um, I got her just a little musical instrument to add to our musical instrument collection. Then I bought a pack of six hand puppets from Melissa and Doug. So I'm putting three with my daughter and three in my sons. Um, we have the farm animal puppets and my kids love them. We sing songs with them. We tell stories. So I got the safari animal collection. So I'm going to give her these three. And of course, a little stuffed bunny. I'm going to throw in her um, a Safari LTD tube of backyard birds. I can teach her the names of all these different birds. We got her a pair of sunglasses from Carter's. My daughter is really into necklaces and bracelets and girly things. So it comes with five charms, five necklaces, and 155 beads. So she can make her own necklaces. Um, and so this is a great fine motor activity. And this is what my mom and dad sent. They sent a book for her. And I got her a scissor skill little book. So it comes with a pair of scissors and just a bunch of different cutting activities. So this seems kind of like a funny gift, band-aids, but my daughter loves using band-aids on her babies and her stuffed animals. They get hurt and she wants to put band-aids on them. So I just got her a little set of band-aids that she can do what she wants with to play with. All right, and I got her one of these. She's never had one of these, but I think she will enjoy it. Draw on the pets and then give them a bath and scrub the drawing off. So she will enjoy this. And then I just got her a classic book, Home for a Bunny. This is just a classic book with classic pictures, but the pictures are really pretty. And then I actually found this book at a thrift store. That's why it has this little sticker on it, but the story of Easter. This is just a cute little nighttime book. Um, and I got her a flashlight here on Amazon to go with it. So it's a nursery rhyme book, but you, while you're reading the nursery rhymes, shine the light through and it makes a shadow image on the wall. This will be really fun. Um, and it's kind of fun reading in the dark. I feel like all kids enjoy that. So I got her the flashlight and the book to go with it. And of course, bubbles, right? You gotta have a thing of bubbles. We have a bubble machine, so I'll probably end up getting like a big thing of bubbles. It has a little bunny on it, so, so cute. Last thing here is just kid nail polish. She loves painting her nails. The kid nail polish is nice because it peels right off. So usually she'll peel it off within an hour of painting her nails. She loves to paint my nails. She loves to paint her dad's nails and he can just peel it right off too. So it's really nice. Um, so this is like one of her favorite activities. So I'm gonna hide this nail polish and plastic eggs that we kept from last year and have her do an egg hunt and let her find these eggs. And my son will probably help find the eggs as well, but he'll just enjoy playing with the empty plastic eggs. There's nothing really I can put inside for him that's not a choking hazard for him. And then just a big thing of Play-Doh. And my mom and dad sent over um, some chalk eggs. Um, they just came in a plastic cardboard box, so I put them inside the tissue paper, but they're just cute little eggs, and I'm just going to split them up between the baskets for sidewalk chalk. Then it has some really cute bunnies. Some cute bunnies. 
And then my son's has some, a carrot and like an egg in his. So that's it for my daughter. Now this is my son's Easter basket. Okay, and so my mom sent over this Russian doll. Um, this is, I really love this size. This is a gorgeous Russian doll. Um, my son's gonna just enjoy taking this apart to start out with, and then he'll learn how to put it together. My daughter will actually probably enjoy this as well. It's probably more of a gift for both of them. Um, but I love how big it is. We have like an animal Russian doll set, but it's a lot smaller. So this is gonna be a fun size for them. Okay, and then my mom sent him a little car. It does say three plus, so I'm gonna have to watch him when he plays with this. If I see that he's putting it in his mouth at all, I'll just put it in our toy rotation bin and bring it out at a later date. He doesn't put as many things in his mouth now, but he still does sometimes. So I'll have to watch him with that, but it just, it's a cute little car that opens and closes. And we got this at a toy shop. Um, so I'm not sure if I can link this one, but um, it kind of looks very similar to the die cast cars. And these are the puppets that he got from the Melissa and Doug Safari set. And then he got a white bunny. And then I got him a Schleck Gorilla. Um, to go with his animal collection. So this is from Schleck and it's very realistic. And he is, he has a little book that talks about African animals. And when he sees the gorilla in the book, he pounds his chest like a gorilla. So I got him a gorilla because he seems to enjoy this animal. I just got him a little uh, Munster snack cup. We lost the lids to the ones that we had. So this is great for just going in the car um, for little snacks in the car um, when we're out and about. So and then I got him some egg crayons. He's getting into art. He likes to draw. So these are really perfect for to like toddler size hands and little eggs like this and he can just draw and it's washable. Because my daughter drew all over the wall when she was two with just like regular crayons. I didn't think to get the washable ones and it, like, it was impossible to get off. It was so hard. So I always make sure now to have washable. You know, you think it's something that I would know, but <laughs> you learn, you learn as you go, I guess, parenting sometimes. I got him a Pika flat hot book. He loves flat books. He likes to interact with them. So it's really cute because he can open it and see what's underneath. Um, he's at the age where he's doing more practical life activities in the kitchen. So this is a really adorable wooden toddler knife in the shape of a bunny. So this is like a really cute like slicing tool. It's not super sharp or anything. It'll be mostly for soft like bananas, cooked carrots and things like that. But this is like so adorable. This is so cute. It's made out of, from wood. It's just adorable. And it comes in this cute little, little box here. It's so cute. I love this. Then I, then I got him an art smock because he likes to paint with his sister and he didn't have his own smock. So I got him his own little smock. Thanks. Is I got him these hide and seek eggs. Um, so the only reason I got these is because I've heard amazing reviews for these type of eggs. They make squeaking sounds when you push down on them and um, they're good for color matching and my son likes to take things apart and put it back together so I feel like he'd really enjoy these. I also forgot to mention that I got my daughter and my son each a straw munchkin cup for smoothies and drinks and they're coming next week so my daughter will have a pink one and my son has a blue one. And then for those of you who are actually looking to gift a bible for Easter, um, this is, I got this for my daughter. Actually, this was gifted to me before she was even born. And this is a really adorable, like Bible stories for younger babies. Um, so this is really cute. And then this is um, the beginner Bible. I, have, I can link below as well. I got, this is for my daughter. And so you can basically read through all of the Bible stories and it's just more elaborate for older children. Okay. And so we've had these for a while, but just wanted to mention those. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got some ideas. I'll link everything below. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.